절대 뒤돌아보지 마. 앞만 봐. 테레사 마이클. Hello. Pleasure Great to meet backdrop. you. Yeah, we love it. Oh, thank you very much. Man, I love this series. It's fantastic. It's thank it's a, you. Oh, thank it's you. educational. It's just it's it's just wonderful. It's just opening up a whole new world to me and I'm halfway through it right now and it's just spectacular. So, congratulations. Thank you so much oh, for watching. You. And Teresa, you know, bringing the novel to the screen, I I assume there's numerous challenges, but was casting a priority? There were so many things we all talked about. It was Michael and our showrunner Sue Hu. Um, and we all talked about the importance of casting authentically Korean and bringing the story to life was a with a global cast actually we have actors from all over the world and yes casting was a important part of it we were so honored that uh, Yoon Yeo-jung was part of the series you know she's not only an Oscar winner but she's a film legend she's been this iconic actor for many many decades And so for her to be able to join us was incredible. And then uh, Lee Min Ho, who is this huge actor and s sensation all around the world, you know, on a really small scale level, he really elevated this character of Han Su. Han Su was one of my favorite characters in the story. And when he came into cast, he took it to a whole nother level. And I think you'll find that. I think audiences will find from YJ to Min Ho and everyone in between, you know, our young lead Min Ha Kim, Jin Ha, who had to speak three different languages. There was a lot going on for our actors, so we're so grateful that they brought their best every day. And Michael, you know, the novel was linear. So uh, this family legacy through the ages, was it tricky doing different timelines? Yes, <laughs> it's a short <laughs> answer. Um, Su Hu, uh, our brilliant showrunner, had conception from the beginning to collapse the two, right? That the past and present should always be in dialogue. She was very mindful from the beginning and you know what, what moved us all about the novel so much and telling the story, which was to bring all of our past to life, right? So that you can't, these, these, these epic, amazing st stories with, uh, from your past are frequently abstract and hard to access and hard to make present. And so the ambition was, this shouldn't feel like the past, it should feel like the present, you know? And we should always be wondering Uh, and thinking about what you know, what do we still carry forward from those days? What's changed? What's different? You know, and so with actors of both YJ's skill um, and Minha's skill, you know, every time you cut between those two, you know, you're 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 seeing the weight of the of that of that of the next 40 years, and um, and so it was um, yes, it would add endless production and uh, editorial challenges. But when the first time we saw it cut together. And you saw the electricity from moving between the two worlds. Um, you knew it was the right choice, and um, and uh, it was thrilling, to be honest. And Teresa, you know, uh, the Korean-Japanese history, the troubled past, you know, I don't think most Westerners know about that. So that was an education for me. I think you're right. You know, I first heard about, um, you know, growing up Korean, you, of course, know that history. But I first learned about Koreans living in Japan when I was at UCLA. And I was studying Asian American studies and anthropology, and I wrote about Koreans living in Japan. And so not only do uh, many people not know about this time period and this history, but they also don't know about Koreans living in Japan. And I thought that was an incredible um, part of the story that the book and now the series has taken on. Um, but absolutely, you're right. And we're hoping that there's more awareness that comes from that. And it's such a heavy series. And that's why I really like your opening song and the credits, you know, mm -hmm. the grassroots. And then look like the cast was having a good time, a little bit of levity in there. Was that Absolutely. always planned? <laughs> yeah, I mean, Sue had a, um, um, actually the, the versions of that were in some of the earliest screenplays. So there was always, Sue always had an instinct about doing something unique there. And the intention was, you know, the show, we see our characters go through so much strife, so much struggle. They have to be so controlled, so careful. Sometimes they make good choices because that. sometimes they make bad choices, but you see the way of the world on their shoulders at all times. And so the intention with the title sequence was joy, the re release, the children within them. So you see both the legacy, what they offered to the current generation that can live more freely, 
Um, but you also get to get a window into their souls of who they might, who they could have been had they not been burned by all these troubles. And so it's a, it's a pop of electricity and love and life at the top of every episode. But they're still the characters. You know what I mean? Like it's still, uh, and that was important to Sue. You know, so it's it's another layer of dialogue, but it's both past, presence, and in a way that's their that's the inner child in all of them. That that's first, uh, you know, uh, desperate to get break free. Well, Teresa, Michael, congratulations. What a wonderful series. And uh, I enjoyed it thoroughly. And let's talk again soon. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, so, you much. so much. We really appreciate it. Thank you.